There's almost no one out. I guess it's still pretty early in the morning. Uh, you are. Uh, I just felt strange all of a sudden. Like a weird pressure was crushing down on my chest. What? You can sense it already? What you're feeling is the malevolence all around us. Now that you've become my vessel, you can sense it. This is proof that your body has already grown accustomed to my power. You don't say. You mean there's really that much malevolence out there, even beyond the city? Indeed. And this is only a taste. As people start to crowd the streets, you'll feel it even more. Come this way. Oh man, what a gorgeous lake! It truly is, but amidst the spectacular scenery, the town of Lady Lake is being corrupted by malevolence. Yeah, now that I can sense it, I can feel the corruption everywhere. We can't let this go on. It isn't just happening here in Lady Lake either. It's eating away at the entire world. The scenery may be splendid, but you can feel that this place lacks the blessing of the Seraphim, can you not? Yeah. In Elysia, I could always feel Gramps' blessing. But here, nothing. But Lila... This little walk of yours isn't just to reconfirm the situation in Lady Lake with us, is it? You've got something to tell us. Yes, I touched on it before, but now I must clarify to you. The true purpose of the Shepherd. The Shepherds can quell the Hellions, beings who bring chaos to humans and Seraphim alike, with the power of purification. That is the power of the Shepherd. However, that in and of itself is not the Shepherd's duty. What the Shepherd must quell is the source of all malevolence, the being who gives rise to the Hellions. The, the Lord of Calamity. The, the Lord, Lord of Calamity? Calamity? I don't know what I'm just saying. Yes. This figure has been known by this name for countless centuries. Whenever Hellions run rampant, this figure is always there. A lord of calamity, who begets Hellions with the overwhelming amount of malevolence he possesses. 
Given enough time, a Lord of Calamity can even permanently alter the world itself. Such is the Calamity he brings. Wait! If I remember correctly, the Celestial Record said that a Shepherd hasn't appeared for the last 200 years. And 200 years ago, there are records that the world was overcome by an unprecedented Calamity. Could there be a connection? I understand. So, the Lord of Calamity is the source of all the malevolence, and it's the duty of the Shepherd to find and put a stop to him. And his name is Ganon. That's all well and good, but where is this guy? For now, it is enough so long as you understand the duty of the Shepherd. Huh? The answers you seek are those you must discover for yourself, Saray. Answers of your own that you will not regret. Stay true to yourself. Forget not your duty, but be not a slave to it either. Answers of my own. And to that end, Saray. I know you want to ask about the effects the Lord of Calamity has on this world, and how Earth Dwellers and Seraphim go about their lives, but... I want you to discern these for yourself. It's true that I'm completely clueless when it comes to just about everything in the world. I want you to travel the world and discover all sorts of things. Only then can you take the answers you have found for yourself and make a stand against the Lord of Calamity. Hmm. It's not that tricky a concept. Pretty much boils down to, hey, Saray, let's take a trip around the world. Yes. Got it. Anyhow, can we start by investigating some food? Talk about calamity. I'm gonna pass out. Shall we head back to the inn? I don't want to have to carry our shepherd around. Sure. Is that a monolith? You know, I've always wanted to travel the world. But I never imagined it'd be so important. It's kind of weird, but I can't say I'm not excited. <laughs> I think it's safe to say you're probably the most uh, sheltered shepherd in history. Wait, you really think so? We don't have another person. Hey, Lila, what kind of people were the other shepherds? Huh? Oh, sorry, I missed what you said. So, what were the other shepherds like? I missed what you said. Lila? Yes? Hiding something? Oh my, isn't this lovely weather? Looks like she doesn't want to talk. Can I ask why you won't answer? I... I have forged an oath with myself. So long as I uphold that oath, I may wield certain extraordinary powers. However, the terms of the oath also prohibit... things. So wait, does that mean there are certain things you can't discuss? By powers, I assume you mean the power of purification? Oh wow, look at the pretty butterfly! You're kind of bad at this, aren't you? Does it really matter? 
We're traveling the world to find these answers anyway, after all. So we need to go investigate each land's shepherd myths? Yes, yes, yes! That's a thousand percent correct! Can other Seraphim besides you wield the power of purification? We should get back before Saray collapses from hunger and we have to sneak his body through the back alleys. We'd better get going. Chop, chop. No time to waste. The food is probably ice cold by now. Uh, <laughs> Let's get going. What's that? Welcome back, kind shepherd. Your thanks a bunch. So we don't even want actual person. Phew, that was good. It really hit the spot. <laughs> you ate like a champ. It was delicious. You sure you don't want me to pay for it? Of course I am. Thanks so much, sir. Oh, I have something for you. A gift arrived from Lady Alicia. Huh? What could it be? Huh. It's a letter. My sword. Bags and... clothes? Ah, perfect timing. Go get changed. You kind of smell. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, my! Not bad. How about it? It looks fantastic on you, Lord Shepard. It really does. So dashing. Oh, man. I want one. It's the garb of the shepherd handed down from tradition in Lady Lake. You wear it well. So you can put lipstick on a pig. Just admit it, Mikleo. You're jealous. Yeah, you wish. So what's the letter all about? Well, let's see. Dear Saray, I was surprised that you fainted so suddenly. I hope your rest at the end was rejuvenating. When I learned that you can communicate with Seraphim, beings of divine nature who cannot be seen by ordinary people. When I saw you draw the sacred blade from the Lady of the Lake and quell the riot at the festival before my eyes. My heart leapt with joy, the likes of which I'd never known. The only thing I can think of to tell you is a sincere, heartfelt thanks. I hope you do not find this strange. Though I do think that my true feelings do not come across well in a letter. I know that as the shepherd, you are soon to embark on a journey to save the world. But once you are awake, I would like you to come and visit me at my home. P.S. Did you have a chance to try on the clothes I got for you? They're modeled after the traditional garb of the legendary shepherd. I hope they are to your liking. My, what a kind-hearted young woman. Yeah, seriously. I should be the one who's thanking her. Why not do it in person, then? Good idea. Let's move. Come back and see us again, kind shepherd. You bet I will. Man, these clothes offer more mobility than I thought. They look purely ceremonial at first glance, but it turns out they're practical. Quite so. Perfect for the journey. We're about to... Undertake.
It looks like all the hype from the festival settled down. But now everyone's talking about the Shepherd. Ah, the Shepherd. Have you need of Lord Alicia? She's on the terrace as we speak. Thanks, I'll see if I can find her. Saray, you came! Alicia! The Shepherd's garb looks wonderful on you. Thanks! Some fine lipstick on that pig. Yes, Miklio, we all know your opinion. What? Pigs are nice. I take it there's a Seraph present with you? If I told you there was, would you believe me? To be honest, up until the events that took place at the Sacred Blade Festival this year, I wouldn't have. But even from the moment we met, I could tell... How can I put it? There was something... Something... different about you. Uh, <laughs> well, she's right, you know. Right here is a Seraph. His name is Miklia. Please, find it in your grace to forgive my rudeness up until now, Seraph Miklio. Rudeness? You've never struck me as rude. He says you've never done anything to offend him. And this here is Lila. She's the one everyone calls the Lady of the Lake. I truly believe in my heart that you were meant to become the Shepherd. Whereas I, I mean all of us here in the city, can be standing right next to Seraphim and still not know. That's not quite true. She can't hear you. Saray, try taking Alicia's hand in your own. Huh? Oh, sure. Alicia, give me your hand. Like this? Testing, testing. Check one, check two. Can you hear me? Hello? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay, then. Saray, try closing your eyes. Testing, testing. Alicia, can you hear me now? It's still no good. This time, close your eyes and also hold your breath. Alicia? I can hear it. Another woman's voice. Really? <laughs> Alicia, we Seraphim are able to see right into the very hearts of humans. Remember to show gratitude to all things. It is in exchange for this gratitude that we offer our blessing. No matter the circumstances, never neglect the Seraphim, or your heart shall turn to malevolence, and this in turn shall bring calamity. Fear not, Alicia. We have indeed seen your gratitude for ourselves. <laughs> Saray, one more time. Yeah. Isn't there a better way to do this? I'm afraid this is the only method we have for now. Once you've grown more accustomed to my power and have amassed more experience as both a vessel and a shepherd, I believe such a strict sensory block will not be required. So, 
does that mean once I do grow stronger as a shepherd, everyone will be able to hear the Seraphim? As for Alicia, she already possessed a natural resonance from birth. Though nowhere near as much as you, Saray. I, I see. It looks like it's not that simple. Regardless, I was able to have a conversation with her. I now have no doubt that the Seraphim do indeed live among us. And that alone... Gets you excited? Yes! The legends are no mere fairy tale. Okay! Alicia, we're going to stay in town for a while yet. Let me know if you need anything. Take care! I will. Um, Saray? Looks like our explorer is all fired up. Relax, those ruins aren't going anywhere. What? How did you know what I was thinking about, Miklio? Didn't I tell you I wasn't gonna let you go off by yourself? So what's the plan? Let's have another look around town. There's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. Okay. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one.
Now I've grasped this area's quite wells. Watch it. There's someone suspicious afoot. Is it a turtle hellion? The hell do you mean, turtles hellion? I'm just a turtles. Turtles? So wait a minute. Are they seraphim? Turtles are turtles. Can't you tell from looking at us? Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, brave new world that has such turtles in it. Ain't you ever seen a turtles before? No. What are you, some bumpkins? Well, lucky for you guys, we turtles are a forgiving bunch. Well, thank you. <laughs> you guys sure are kind. Of course. The big heartedness of the turtles is proportional to the size of our shells. And what were you doing here? I'm making maps for our purposes. Oh, maps. Come to think of it, we don't have any decent maps. The one in the celestial record is quite old. You guys sure are reckless. Says, can I sell you some of my maps? They're chock full of useful informations. Thanks. It's a big help. Thank you. I'm darn pleased that you bought my maps. Underground waterway. Sounds worth looking into. So one of them hasn't returned yet. Wonder if he's okay. Are you going? Yeah, I'm worried about anyone who isn't coming back. Saray. There's definitely strong malevolence coming from the center of town. I must say, your ability is indeed impeccable. It looks like you're acclimating to your power already, far faster than I've even imagined. I am? The day when you will come into the true power of the Shepherd is not far off. What kind of power is that? Oh, oh sorry about that. You were saying? Well, we'll find out soon enough. Yep. It's a Hellion! Get back! No way. I'm helping too. I told you, Lila and I have this. Get back! Ugh. Would the person inside be okay if we hit them? Slimes can soften physical attacks with their bodies. Does that mean it's harder to defeat them? No, I just That's meant that the person inside should be fine. Well, there's some good news. Let's keep it up. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me. What on earth happened? He wouldn't believe you even if you told him. You, uh, you were drowning. I was? Thank goodness you showed up then. I should head back and lie down for a bit. 
I'm fine, I promise. I can get back by myself. All right, then. Now we can romp around the ruins without that weighing on our minds. Mikleo? From now on, I'm fighting too. But you don't have the power of purification. So what are you asking me to do? Stand around behind you and twiddle my thumbs? I didn't come along just to be a liability for you. Mikleo. Lila, is there any way I could use the power of purification as well? There is one way. You could become a sublord and place your power alongside mine. And like me, you would need to dwell inside Saray, my vessel. I'll do it. No, hold on now. You need to think about this first. I need to think about this? I don't recall a whole lot of thinking when you decided to become a shepherd. That was completely different. Is purifying Hellions your life dream? I doubt it. I am a Seraph. Hellions are my natural enemy. Is it so strange that I should want to eliminate them? I don't know. Do frogs try to eliminate snakes? Am I a frog to you? Why are you getting so hysterical? Listen to me, Mikleo. <sighs> I'm not getting hysterical. Mikleo. Your liability will be waiting back at the end. Saray, we should go after him. He said he's going back. Let him have his way. I see. This is youth, brotherhood between men. Hmm? But even so, you should know what you did was cruel. Surely you understand how Mikleo feels, don't you? <sighs> I've decided. Huh? About what? Moving on ahead. Yes, this is a fine idea. I don't even get what you're talking about. Well, the ruins won't explore themselves, though that would be grand. Can you figure out how to open it? A door with no keyhole, marked with the crest of the Kingdom of Highland. This is no door. Is it... It's a seal! A seal, is it? When authorities find relics or artifacts that are politically inconvenient for the current regime, they tend to brand them forbidden and seal them away from prying eyes. And if the seal was placed there by the royal family, that would suggest the key is connected to them as well. Huh? What's up? You certainly are quite the budding archaeologist. <laughs> yeah, ever since childhood, exploring ruins was pretty much the only hobby Mikleo and I ever had. That Mikleo, if I ever discovered anything, he'd run out the next day and discover something else. And? Oh, that's about it. Can you unlock the seal? Oh, right. I think I'll examine the door a bit more. Hmm. What could this be? Just need the key now. I guess this isn't the key. You said it was connected to the royal family. I doubt we have anything like that. Hmm.
just need the key. Yes. Well, it certainly is a unique key. It looks just like a knife. That's because it is. I just saw a monolith written in ancient tongue. Do that.
Whoa. Check it out. That sword is ginormous. This is an altar to the Sacred Blade. It was constructed in the era of Asgard. Lila, do you know about this? Lila? I remember. This is where I formed the pact with the previous shepherd. Really? But then, why couldn't you tell us before? You and Miklio looked like you were both having so much fun. I didn't want to go and sour your explorer's spirit by spoiling the end. And on top of that, I kept silent for your sake. For my sake? I want you to understand, you must not feel obligated to bear the world's burden on your shoulders alone. Huh? So? How does it feel having reached these ruins? You don't feel as excited as you imagined you might be, right? By any chance, do you know why this is? Um, I... well... You do not wish for your friends to share the burden of your duty. Is that correct? I guess I'm really that transparent, aren't I? This is a problem that always arises between the Shepherd and their Seraphim friends, no matter the era. Saray, you must understand how Miklio feels, do you not? Yeah. Very well. There is nothing left for me to tell you. Thank you, Lila. And now, allow me to show you the real reason I brought you all the way here. I want to bestow this onto you. A jewel? They are called Iris Gems in the world of humans. But... They are originally known as the Earthen Historia. Iris gems. Earthen Historia. So, can you see anything? Huh? Like what? The object you are holding allows those with resonance, that is, the ability to sense Seraphim, to see the memories that are contained within. They should serve you well as guideposts in your search for the Lord of Calamity. Hmm? But I can't see anything. You can't? Hmm, that certainly is odd. Saray? Let's head back. There's nothing more we can find out. But... Hey, we can come back anytime we need to. Indeed. I'm with Miklio, of course. So then, is this sealed as well? From the inside? This is an altar created in order to bring forth shepherds. It does not open unless one can wield the flames of purification. Wait a minute. Doesn't that mean anyone who failed to become a shepherd could never get out of here? Indeed, it is a relic of a much crueler era. I see. You have already been bound to me and are quickly becoming accustomed to my power. I expect you should be able to wield the flames of purification by now. So, all I have to do then is light this torch? Yes, but be wary. Those who could not become shepherds may have perished here, but their emotions linger on. This malevolence hangs here like a miasma. Meaning that hellions are lurking about, right? Exactly. Proceed with caution. Okay.
focus, guys! Such signs are commonly seen around this area. They aren't very strong, but watch out for their spewing attacks. All is done here. Begin the purification. Ready? There are some that grow larger when they become Hellions. But it's way bigger than the ones we've seen. Ready? No escape! How's this? I can flip it! Too close! Ready? Get on! No escape! Get on! Struggle right! Let's get him! Now then! Bye! Strike! Wait! Done, everyone. I can't believe it. There are so many of them. I have no idea. Do you feel any different? A new power manifesting, or a new sort of strength welling up inside you? Do you feel like that at all? Huh? I don't feel any different. So it really hasn't happened yet. There's too many! Is there any end to this? Saray, we have to break on through! Okay. There's no end to them! Give your all to defense! We can still pull through! Ready? Strike! It's over! Ready? talking about it is time you knew the true power of the shepherd what i bear my true name <gasps> this is recite that name harness the power that flows from it and let it become your armor that is the true power of the Shepherd. All right, I'll give it a try. I won't lose. Death must be Elma. This is armatization. Wow. I can feel such incredible power! All right, time to finish this! Burn away! Go Watch out! Get lost! Burn and charge! Pillars of fire! Too easy. That was wonderfully done, Saray. Armatization itself is proof of one's status as a shepherd. It means you have mastered its power. 
Still, that was way too close for comfort. Gaining that new power right at the last second there. I'll say. I must admit even I was worried. But in the end, you did an absolutely marvelous job. Ah, shucks. Come on, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, since the Hellions are safely defeated, what do you say you go ahead and remove the armatization? How do I do that? Huh? I can't get it off. What? Is that what's supposed to happen? That's what I want to know. So, you can't read the Earth in Historia. You were able to unleash the power of armatization with amazing speed, and yet now you can't turn it off. Saray, you're just a total mess. The Shepherd's a mess, I guess, I guess. <laughs> Come on, Lila. Oh, there it goes. I suppose once the Armatus has been invoked, you'll just have to wait until it dissolves. I'm sure in due time you'll be able to use it at will. If you say so. Boy, just more and more tutorial stuff. I don't think we've checked that monolith out yet. Saray, I'm counting on you. Be gone! No escape! Hang on, everyone! Hang on! Hang on, everyone! Strike! How's this? Sweet dreams! Hang on, everyone! Yeah! Be gone! Everyone okay? Is that a monolith? Be on your guard! Be gone! Oh, it's just you, please! Be gone! Where are the opponents? That's the way! Be gone! Oh, it's just you, please! Looks like we win!
um, when we come back, we'll s resume right here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.